Hello YouTube, um, this video I'm going to talk about what's going on recently in my life and in the world. Um, I applied for a job and on Tuesday I had an interview and on Wednesday or Thursday, or Wednesday I think, um, I got an offer so I've just got to wait for my references and my DBS check to go through. And then I should get a start date. And they're like, they're trying to chase me up on all the paperwork and everything. So I think I've got all the paperwork sorted now. And um, the references are going to be hard to get hold of. Because like flipping, my boss can't um, just give me a, a reference like via email, which they asked for. Um, they need, because like his work email won't like um, send emails like externally. So he's got to flip in, get them to send like paperwork for him to fill out and then like send, send that off. So um, yeah, that's going to be more difficult than it needs to be. But um, yeah, um, I should have a job as a support worker. So I'm going to be working with people with like learning difficulties, autism, um, Down syndrome. I don't know exactly like who I'm going to be working with or anything like that yet, obviously. Um, but I'll be supporting them and like going on like day trips and shopping and helping them cook and all that kind of thing. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. I don't know what kind of people I'm going to work with. Maybe going to church, anything like really. But um, it's all very exciting. And then, um, yeah, once I've done my um, initial like probation period, so like 12 weeks, then um, hopefully I'll have moved out of this temporary accommodation I'm in at the moment um, into one of my sister's... Um, houses that she's going to be renting like rooms in and um so then i'll be able to work full time because i'm going to need to because i won't be able to claim housing benefit because she's a relative um i'm not allowed to claim housing benefit so i'll be paying my own way with that which will be good and then i can start getting debt free and uh, because i own the council like 800 quid so I can sort that out um and start saving for tattoos and stuff and start saving to um yeah, I don't know, just have stuff. And um, then hopefully the plan is that um, I move in with Bailey. And um, yeah, that's going to be amazing. I can't wait to like spend like every day with her, to be honest. like I hate the fact that she lives in Wembley and I have to get on a bus and stuff. And um, I hate the fact that I'm not working full time. So things are looking up, like flipping. I'm actually doing stuff with my life, like... I've worked full time for like five years, so I miss like going to work every day, and I miss um, the routine of that, and I miss having the money that obviously comes with that. Um, and I think that like if this career like kicks off and um, goes the way I want it to, then it's just going to be something that I'm going to be really passionate about and like really enjoy doing. So it all looks really positive and shit. Um, one of the things that isn't positive at the moment is like flipping because I work in retail, I work at Savers. I have to deal with like fucking customers, and they're such fucking cunts. This Corona shit has turned people into like they just like they're so rude, and all they care about is like flipping bog roll and stuff. Like we literally got ninety two, eighteen roll flipping um, lots of toilet paper in today. That's uh, sixteen hundred and twenty flipping rolls of toilet roll and they sold out within an hour like that's just mental like flipping it's craziness um so yeah i've just done from 5 a.m to 4 p 3 p.m even um with an hour's break and that was like a long day and like we didn't open the store until 12 o'clock because um we had 28 cages of stock to work so we had a lot of delivery to put away and um we had more staff in than usual and we also closed the shop so it's a pretty like unique day and then i'm going back in on sunday i'm going to be doing from 10 open till close at um 4 p.m so well it's not confirmed yet but that's the thing at the moment like our rotors like we just find out like the day before or whatever and we, we nothing's ever like set in stone like this is your shift you can find out literally the day before oh yeah can you come in tomorrow and do da 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 and it's like, it's all right for me. I'm a single bloke and stuff. I'm not, I'm not a single bloke, actually. No, um, I like live alone. Do you know what I mean? And like flipping, I haven't got any kids and stuff. But like 
for the people that work at um, Savers that have got like kids and stuff, it's like it's no good, is it? Like they want to plan their lives and like they don't know what's going on. They've got to like arrange childcare and stuff like that, and um, yeah, it's not great. Um, so I can't wait to like to get into somewhere where I can actually like feel um, steady, really, and like solid and like flipping learn stuff and just like yeah, can't wait. It's gonna be great. So there you go, there's my news um, and blog basically of what's been going on recently. But oh yeah, I've got a new phone. This is recorded on a new phone. I've now got an S20, which is an S20 Plus 5G and it's like fucking amazing. It's like really big and like bright and like it's really good. I really like it. Um, it took like two days for to switch over the SIM. So like I went without flipping having phone calls for like a while, um, which was annoying. But everything's like been switched over now, so yeah, it's all good. Alright, over and out.